Hi everyone. So in this video we are going to discuss a problem that is asked in July challenge 2020. So the problem name is missing a point. So pause your window and read the question carefully. Okay, so now I will tell what the problem statement tell and how we can approach to this problem. So basically we are given with n rectangles that are parallel to the coordinate system. So if there are n rectangles, so the number of vertices are 4n and it is given in the question that these rectangles may intersect but these 4n vertices are pairwise distinct and the question is pretty simple we have to given the 4n minus 1 vertices and we have to find the missing vertex of this rectangle so we can do this problem with the help of XOR function so now I will tell you how XOR function will work and how we can solve this problem now let us see how XOR function will work so this is the symbol of XOR function now let us see the properties of the XOR function so the two main properties are the first one is if we take XOR of a number with the same number we get output 0 and the second property is if we take XOR of a number with 0 we get the same number so with the help of these two properties we can solve our problem so now let us see how bitwise XOR function is used to solve our problem so let us consider a rectangle having the coordinates x1 y1 x2 y1 x1 y2 and x2 y2 that is parallel to the coordinate axis so first we make array of x coordinate and the elements are x1 x1 x2 x2 and these are arranged in sorted form similarly we make array of y coordinate and the elements are y1, y1, y2, y2. So what we will do? We will do XOR of array of x coordinate and then XOR of array of y coordinate. So for doing the XOR of an array, we first take a test element that is 0 and we start with this 0 XOR with the first element x1. So previously I told if we take XOR of a number with 0 we get the same number. So 0 XOR with x1 we get x1 then x1 XOR with x1 we get 0. Previously I told if, if we take XOR of a number with the same number we get 0. Now here we get 0 then 0 XOR with x2 we will get x2 and then x2 XOR with x2 we get 0 similarly we will do with the y coordinate we take a test element 0 then 0 XOR with y1 we get y1 y1 XOR with y1 we get 0 then 0 XOR with y2 we get y2 and y2 XOR with y2 we get 0 so what we will observe here is if any rectangle that is parallel to the coordinate axis if we take XOR of that X coordinate or XOR of the Y coordinate we will get the output 0 and if any point is missing let's say this X2 Y2 point is missing in this rectangle by taking the XOR we will get the missing point so let's see how we get similarly we take a test element 0 and we know x2 y2 is missing so we take xor of 0 with x1 we get x1 
then x1 with x1 we get 0 and 0 xor with x2 we get x2 so the missing x coordinate is x2 and similarly we will do for the y coordinate 0 xor with y1 we get y1 y1 xor with y1 we get 0 and 0 xor with y2 we get y2 so the missing y coordinate is y2 so this is the concept behind the XOR function for solving this problem. Now let us code on the code chef ID. So before writing the code, first we see the input statement. So first line will contain an integer t that is the number of test cases. Second line will contain an integer n that is the number of rectangles and third line will contain 4n minus 1 vertices of the rectangle and in the output we have to print the missing point of the vertex so let's get started our code so we have to take an integer t that is the number of test cases then traverse a loop while t minus minus then we have to take an integer n int n c in n where n is the number of rectangles now we have to take 4n minus 1 vertices of the rectangle so what we will do we will make two array of size 4n minus 1 and in one array we will put the x coordinate of the vertices and in another array we will put the y coordinate of the vertices so let's take an integer p having the size 4n minus 1. Now make two array, let's say x of size p and y of size p. Now traverse a loop for int i equals to 0 i less than p i plus plus and take x and y coordinate in x and y array respectively so c in x of i and y of i so by this way x coordinate are stored in x array and y coordinate are stored in y array so now we have to use the bitwise xor function so for this first we have to take an test element so in test test1 equals to 0 and then traverse a loop for int i equals to 0 i less than p i plus plus and then test1 equals to test1 xor x of i so in the last this test1 gave the missing x coordinate and similarly we will do for the y coordinate so let's take int test2 equals to 0 then traverse a loop for int i equals to 0 i less than p i plus plus and test 2 equals to test 2 xor y of i so by this way this test 2 will give the missing y coordinate and now we will print missing x and y coordinate so c out test1 space test2 and then here for changing the line and l so let's try the custom input so this is the custom input we take from the question and the output will be 2 comma 2 for this so let's run this
so there is one error okay so test one there is test one so let's run this code so output will be 2 comma 2 so let's submit this code and see it will take some time So you see all the subtasks are completed.